This is the UK's worst city. Don't look at me, I'm not the one saying it. In this book called Crap Towns, the 50 worst places to live in the UK, there's a town that's been rated the worst place to live for three years in a row. It caught our attention because as we travel around the world, we tend to find that the most underrated places turn out to be the hidden gems of the world, which led us to the question, how bad could this town really be? In order to answer that question, we decided to send out two of our most optimistic and positive teammates, Stefan and Tommy. But to make this more than just a diplomatic visit, we came up with the ultimate challenge to fix this city's reputation. Here's the thing. Wait, why did you stop to record? <laughs> so we all love the United Kingdom, right? And we found that somehow there's a city in the UK that's been deemed the worst city <laughs> in the UK. How yeah. do you even measure that? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but there's a book that's called like uh, Sh Towns or something like that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The thing is, you're not just going there, you also have a task. And the task is that you have to create a commercial for why people should be living and why this city <laughs> is great. And you cannot lie. So you have to make a commercial about why, <laughs> and why people should love it. By the end of your trip there, this commercial has to be done and screened to locals. Oh, so we're gonna screen it <laughs> to the locals. <laughs> this city is called mm. Luton. It's been voted the worst city in the UK. <laughs> so imagine the tourism board somehow had a budget and somehow hired you to do this. They chose wrong. <laughs> We've reached out to a few of the brightest minds in the United Kingdom to join you. That's what I figured. <laughs> so I figured we can call them right now. So to help Stefan and Tommy on this mission, we recruited the help of Max Fosh and Zach Alsop, two good friends in the UK YouTuber world who have accomplished their fair share of missions. Hey, man. <laughs> so, okay, here's the plan. We were dabbling with this idea of what the worst city in the UK was. It's a good start. <laughs> and we found out it was Luton. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. The team that we've assembled of Avengers is right here with me. What's up? <laughs> hey, the boys. When you landed in Luton last time, did you go straight to London afterwards? Yeah, of course, you got there as soon as you can. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's make Luton great again. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make loot and great again. Maybe. <laughs> he just took Max's joke. That was Max's joke. <laughs> oh. We'll be able to find some beauty in Luton, I'm sure. The dream team. Luton, Luton, Luton. This is our new apartment. There's no internet and there's not many lights yet. So this is actually the first part where we film for an episode from the apartment. Here we go. We need to maybe reach the major, major, major. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> <laughs> Jamer. <laughs> I actually found an email to him. Hello, Mohamed Yakub, honey. We would love to meet you as well and say hi. After reviewing this email for 10 seconds, I say send it. <laughs> One, two. That was awesome. Why is Luton the worst place to live? It's the only place I've felt in danger on a Sunday afternoon. I think we're about to give that a chance to give that a change. We're gonna give that a chance to give it a change, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> do you love Luton? I like Luton. <laughs> Off we go. What do you wanna tell people in Luton? You go to Portugal, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're going to Luton. Why are you going to Luton? That's a good question. Such a random place to go. We're making a commercial for Luton to make oh, people to commercial. love Luton. Uh, okay. okay, I've got to pick up. No, I'm a massive fan of Luton. <laughs> Can you remember one good thing about Luton when you were there? They had a good kebab shop. Like, oh, wow. like I just remember like after the game eating a really good kebab. So Luton has the best kebabs in the UK, you'd Maybe. say? Yeah, yeah. We got you. Your ticket to London. Why go to London when you can go to Luton? <laughs> My friends, we have a very exciting update in our video today that we're going to give you all of the spicy, juicy little details about in the future. But ladies and gentlemen, we are opening a new Yes House out here 
in Paris. It's currently empty, but it is about to be a magical space. It's going to be our new home, our new working space, and our new creative environment where we hope a ton of new memories are going to be born as we are sad to have shut down our original Yes House in California. But the best part is that as a part of our new Seek Discovery Drop, Shine Through Fear, link in the description below, we will be flying out three people to inaugurate this space with us and join us for a sleepover and a day exploring the city alongside us. So if you want to join us on this adventure, come check out the new Yes House and check out these new designs. Check out the link in the description below on seedisconfort.com. And now let's see how they do creating a commercial for the worst city in the UK. We put a call out on Instagram to see if there are any celebrities as big as Brad Pitt or as minor as an extra in a movie. And I think we may have the perfect person. <laughs> there was someone who texted, my dad was a background extra in Star Wars. That screams celebrity. First man for the commercial. A man who's been in the Star Wars movie. And that's something that we can say, this commercial has a Star Wars actor in it. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You're, you're already too happy. No. To hey man. How are you going, bro? You're going good, bro. Good to see you. Oh, you might. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, well, you yeah. think Yes Theory collab. You think, <laughs> where are we going? Let's pack our passports. Thanks, guys. I was expecting an Egypt trip. <laughs> What's the f thing, guys? What are we doing? Uh, I thought you would know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just pull. Yeah. Let's okay. just get out of this car. <laughs> This is the epicenter of Luton. <laughs> wow, it's um, it's bustling. Excuse it's... me, sir. Do you live in Luton? I don't. You don't? No. Oh, yep. that's going to be a problem. Can I ask you one question? <laughs> I'm trying to find the best thing to do in Luton. Talk to me. Literally nothing. <laughs> Take the train to London if it's working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's definitely cheaper than London. Yeah. But... Okay, so that's one plus. Okay. okay. Nice. <laughs> Affordable. There's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think he's an actor because that was perfect. <laughs> what would you say is the best thing with Luton? The best Luton? thing about Luton is the football club. The football club. Mm. And I heard they're playing tomorrow. Yeah. Are you going? Yeah. Okay, we need to get tickets to this football yeah. game. Yeah, no, you can't get tickets. It's nearly all, it's sold out every game. That's if you could say like one positive thing about Luton, what would it be? It's not Watford. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible place. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. This man told us to go to the museum, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna go, go to the museum. To the museum. <laughs> City of dreams. Code, Guys, this code is, things. This is where. The, <laughs> this is meant to be where the museum is. Uh -huh. yeah, but it says, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to make an accurate commercial about Luton without knowing the history of it? Yeah, wow. These are made in Luton, we can assume. I didn't expect this. Luton, full of surprises. Yeah. Full, of, <laughs> full of carriages. Okay. Just a lot of carriages. Exactly, this is what we need to find, boys. A Luton hat. This is made in Luton, the straw hat. Yeah, for you. Are you from Luton or? Yes. Wow, what a nice place here. Yes. We used to arrive. Oh, We've been to the square, we're at the museum now, and meeting so many friendly people. And you oh. have beautiful smiles. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the best thing with Luton? Food, I suppose like... it's the people, because we're so multicultural now, mm -hmm. even from when I grew up, because I'm Lutonian. The Asian communities, the Polish community, we have a really lovely Asian neighbour. Oh. The food was lovely. Thank you. Thank you have a nice time. Well, have a nice time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much, yeah. It's a lovely town. It's a lovely town. It's a lovely town. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luton is a lovely song. So awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Got some presents. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Oh, yeah. And as the team walked around this little museum, they bumped into someone who had a lot to say about Luton. No, yeah, I've lived in Luton all my life, and I'll tell you what, there's a lot more to offer than, than you really? can That's about. what we want to hear. That's what we want to Can we recruit you to like, help us make this the best commercial about Luton? 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're in Luton, you're coming to the best place in the country. <laughs> <laughs> so were you, were you born in Luton? I was, yeah, born and bred. It's been tempting to kind of run away, because um, I wanted to become an actor and do all these big things, but yeah. it's something just keeps me here. My family's here, me and my mum, my little sister, we live together, so, you know, I help pay the rent there. And, you know, Aww. work in like, four different jobs within Luton. Really? I help teach drama, yeah, yeah, yeah. I quite like the thought of, you know, if I'm going to do anything, this is going to be my base. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna, so you're not going to give up. You feel like Luton can be a place for people's dreams to exist as yes. well? Yes, yeah, 100%, 100%. Give it up for Cole. Yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we off to? 
Now we're off for some traditional Luton, Lutonian food. I wonder what it is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Enjoy, guys. And is Thank this you. the best fish and chips? It is definitely the best fish there and chips. There we go. If wow. you find a better one, you have to come back and tell me. <laughs> 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 we are, um, as we all know, about to make a commercial. We figured out the phone number to the mayor. We called him and he called him. And he said yes to meet us in around one hour. Really? What? Down on. <laughs> it's in the mirror of it's in the one hour. <laughs> Turn up to a city in the morning and be meeting the mayor by dinner. What are the yes, chances? Yes. The mission is to make him be in the commercial. Yeah. My famous signature cheesecake, if you like cheesecake. Oh, come on. It comes with ice cream. Wow, well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. I need her in the commercial. I mean, she needs to be in the commercial. Okay, we're leaving the hotel now and the meeting starts in four minutes. We should probably not be late to the mayor. I can see him. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Nice, nice to meet you. Thank That's you for good. making the time. We really yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you, man. Wow. Come here. And the hats, the Luton hats as well. Yeah. Wow. How does it feel to be mayor of Luton? It's a privilege mm. to serve the people. In Luton, the mayor we, doesn't get paid any extra. For being the mayor, it's something that you volunteer to do to give up your time. Wow. How did you feel when you heard about him that Luton had been like announced as the worst town in the UK? The thing is, we hear the stories all the time, and then when you uh, open up the article, it's a random page on Facebook. But living in Luton, you can enjoy the best things about London without living in it. If I want to show you a few more exciting places around this yeah, place, I love this. yeah, this is signature of the king, King no. Charles. So this is called the Silver Room. These chains are from 1876. Whoa. Here are some pin badges. Oh my god. Look at us becoming friends with the mayor in Luton. We love Luton. Yeah. Thank okay. you so much, yeah. No, it was no, highly... appreciate your time. Nice to meet you. Okay. Wow. That's so kind. I don't know how you're feeling, but I start to feel like a little bit, you know, sentimental towards uh, Luton. I know. I, I think feel like we're like connected now. Right, right. You're my favorite city in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished meeting up with the mayor. And now we're gonna write the script. We're gonna shoot the whole thing tomorrow and then edit it in the same day to premiere it on Sunday, which to me feels like a tall order. Nah. Especially as one of the editors. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm relaxed. I think we can start out by just like pitching lines that we know will make like, it. And don't bother bringing sunscreen because you won't get burned here. With Jack, we met at the airport. So we're having like eat a kebab. This is the Star Wars dude. Here he is. He closes the door. <laughs> For the next few hours, the team nailed down the script. But before the big shoot day, they met Cameron, one of Carl's friends, who explained why he stayed in Luton. Why have you stayed in Luton and not gone to London? London's already a great place. Why can't Luton be one too, you know? Mm. I want people to look at Luton and be like, that's where stuff goes on. But you're not going to get that if everyone leaves. People have been trying to make this place great for years, and people just haven't looked. Mm. Now the spotlight's on us. Let's make the most of it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. What was your opinion on this being voted like the worst town three years in a row? Is, it, is that what it was? That's, <laughs> it's yeah. ridiculous. People have never been here that would say yeah. that sort of thing, you know? If you come here, yeah, every place has got its rough spots. Um, nothing's perfect. But if you go into places looking for the bad stuff, you'll just find bad stuff. If you actively look for the good things, then you just start seeing good stuff everywhere. And Wise words. If, if you think this is the worst place, then I feel sorry for you, do you know? You're missing out. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. We have no shot list, we have no script, but we start shooting at 8 a.m. Excuse me, Stefan, what are you doing in my bed here? Excusa mami, casa su casa. Mi casa. That's an expression that you say when you invite somebody to your home, not when you invite yourself. I bought from the drop and the reward was I have a sleepover. Okay, I don't know if you're mixing things up here. There is no sleepover happening right now. Second of all, it's not in my apartment. It's in the new Yes house that we're opening in Paris, which is your apartment. Deep breaths. <sighs> Get the f <laughs> On a serious note, you can actually join a sleepover with me, Thomas, Amar, Tommy at the new Yes House in Paris. We're gonna have a lots of fun and we're excited to get to know you. And at the same time, you are supporting Seek Discomfort by buying merch. And you do it at seekdiscomfort.com. So please support us, join the mission of spreading more yeses around the world and more sleepovers. <laughs> got a commercial to shoot boys yeah and we got some special guests we're meeting today as well so uh... do we before they got shooting Stefan and tommy had a little surprise up their sleeve if it's anyone who's watching this right now who doesn't know who king rich is he is the legend london cab driver and here you're getting a quick summary 
Last year we met Reg, a London cab driver and one of the most interesting people we have ever met. Carrying in the king. The taxi cab has run out of fuel. <laughs> and paid him $10,000 to drive us as far away from London as possible and ended up in Morocco. And since then he's become an internet legend. Is that Reg? No way. Reg! <laughs> oh my god! I was in here! <laughs> Oh, Alright, nice to meet you, I'm Matt. This is a, this is a, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, Matt, yeah, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. This is, this is the best. What are you doing here, Reg? Oh, Hold on, man, you tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah, you tell me what to do. Alright, mate. <laughs> are you peeing your back? We need to shoot the commercial. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's Reg. Are you guys, the, you pay the guy? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Can I have a picture? We're up to a chaotic, <laughs> the least productive shoot I've ever been on. You're right, everything good. So after a bit of a bumpy start, they were finally ready to start making some movie magic. Don't worry, Londoners. Don't worry, Londoners. It's only a 30 minute ride to this paradise. Yeah. Don't worry, London. Don't worry, Londoners. Don't worry, Londoners. Yeah. Don't worry, Londoners. It's only a 30 minute ride to this paradise. If paradise is half as nice as a paradise, I'd rather have Who needs paradise? I don't know this one. We have a whole commercial shoot today. We've shot one line. Tell me when. Don't worry, Londoners, it's only a 30 minute ride to this paradise. Did you get that? I did. <laughs> what makes lovely Luton special, you may ask? What makes lovely Luton so special? May you ask. May you ask. May you ask. May you ask. We love Luton. We love Luton. Luton, we love you. That was great. Yeah. Are you ready to roll? And rated. Worst place to live in the UK. How, how energetic are we in We Love Luton? Energetic. We, we love Luton. We love Luton. We love Luton. Love Luton. <laughs> We're on a roll, baby. All, all the line is some straw hat and just throw it up in the air. <laughs> yeah, come on, ready? Some straw hat. <laughs> Am I looking straight at camera? Come on now. Come on now. So come on down to the land of dreams. Oh, watch out. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Here we <laughs> What's up, man? How are we doing? Welcome back, Good man. Good to see you. Exactly. This is the kebab. Nice to meet you, man. You're the kebab, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. They had a good kebab shop. This is the moment. <laughs> Do you think this is the place? This feels familiar. The best kebab in entire UK is in Luton. He's right in here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the best kebab. No, this is definitely the best kebab. Because I live in London and I'm used to kebab in London, this has got to be one of the nicest kebabs I've ever ate. <laughs> oh, it's one of kebab. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. We've got some stuff for you. Wow. This is for you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, this guy said Lutton yesterday. You can't even say <laughs> the name. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Like, you do look like, like a couple of British boys. <laughs> Say bottle of water. A bottle of water. <laughs> Max and Sack, we have a surprise for you. You have been waiting and waiting and waiting to meet the Star Wars actor. Yeah. And the moment has come. Oh, Here we have. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and the myth of legend. This is, this is. Mate. Talk to my agent. <laughs> How did it feel to be in, in the Star Wars universe? It was really good, actually. I met Celine Dion's tour drummer. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he had us in the first half there. Had us in the first How was it to close the garage door? Well, the only reason I got that gig was because I was the only one that could actually close the door. Yeah. <laughs> so I had someone standing there and like, trying to do this one. Move that away. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> you know, you're not used to speaking on camera, but you say, trust me, I've been all around the galaxy and nothing beats this. Trust me, I've been all around the galaxy and nothing beats this. <laughs> we have wow. props as well. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I've been all around the galaxy, but nothing beats Luton. Wow, who would have known? In a land far, far away. <laughs> but now it's time for us to uh, go to the game. Yeah. Let's go, man. Can't believe we got tickets. It's been a week of trying. We're going as close as you can come to like Premier League local football. Mate, you're going to love it so much. <laughs> Luton till I die. I'll do Luton till I die. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm Here we go, first time seeing the stadium. Wow, there's some atmosphere in here. Ole, 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 ole. Really 
see him in the home ground very often. Okay, okay. But when you saw us, did you think that those two lads are true no, no, no. locals? <laughs> and why do you love locals? Well, it's, it's a community spirit. It's Historically, we just stick together. And it feels like the football team is a part of making people yeah. stick together? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's bonfire time. <laughs> Beautiful. For the last shot of the commercial, the guys were invited to one of the local favorite spots and got to get deeper into why some Lutonians stay. What made you decide to stay in Luton as opposed to going anywhere else in the UK or even the world? The talent that is in Luton. We don't get to keep it in Luton because everyone else leaves. Mm. So I wanted to stay and try and work on and preserve what we already have. To me, it's just really inspiring that you guys have the attitude of instead of complaining about a problem, you actually like, stay and want to make it better. That's the thing, a lot of people don't have that attitude, which means that nothing changes. The main thing of everything that we do is caring about this town and caring about giving other people opportunities that we might have missed out on. Uh, we're so blessed that we met you guys. Like, it's been a privilege, man. You know what I enjoy after two full days of shooting is editing <laughs> directly after. Yay! We have booked the pub nearby to premiere it tomorrow. I like to think I'm a hopeful person. <laughs> it does feel like a lot for me. We got you. We just ordered you pad thai. Oh, okay, thank God. So. <laughs> I think I finished it. You done? Yeah. Do you want to have a watch through? Please. <laughs> We are ready to host this commercial! <laughs> and so, Tommy and Stefan walked over to the pub, only to find it to be a bit rowdier than expected. Let us see how suitable it is to have a premiere. We can hear, like, noises in here. Lots of shouting. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in for a ride. So, with the overwhelming support of some of the patrons... We got told by a local that no one is allowed to touch the TV. It was like, I'll beat the shit out of you if you turn off the TV. <laughs> I was like... They invited some of the Yes Fam Lutonians to attend the premiere and hopefully answer the question, did they make a great commercial that perfectly encapsulates the town, or one that would let them all down? Hello, Luton! We're tasked with making a commercial about supposedly the worst town in the UK. We were given 48 hours to do it. Let's, Let's play the commercial of Luton! <laughs> Luton, a place that's been hated, slated, and rated. Worst place to live in the UK. But we don't see or feel that because we, we love Luton. Luton. From straw hats to affordable flats. From old cars to movie stars. I've been all around the galaxy, but nothing beats Luton. We love Luton! What makes Luton so special, may you ask? That may be the best kebab. No, that's definitely the best kebab. But what about the cheesecake? So maybe this is the best cherry cheesecake you have tried. Okay, but what's in Luton besides the food? Luton Airport holds the key to the world. Don't worry, Londoners, it's only a 30 minute ride to this paradise. So come on down to the land of dream where there's no need to pack is sun cream. We love Luton. And against all odds, Luton Town FC became the underdog gods. So, why do Lutonians love it so much? I suppose it's the peak because we're so multicultural now. Asian, European, American, every society live in Luton. Live peacefully and love each other. We've had a lot of challenges, we still do, but one thing that's unique about this town is that we all come together as a community to challenge those. Historically, we just stick together. Yeah, it's quite a tight-knit place. If I picked up my phone, at least one person in my contacts would answer, and it's like, you can never really feel alone. It's not Watford. <laughs> <laughs> Unapologetically unpolished, and even if all the buildings were demolished, you still have the people, and that makes the place. That's why you leave Luton with a smile on your face. Cut. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you killed me! That was, <laughs> that was, oh my gosh! That was beautiful! Luton, the worst place to live if you're trying to have a bad time. <laughs> yes! Yes, there is! 
Small towns get a bad rep. All around the world, young people feel they're too boring and move to major cities instead as we slowly lose the slower living we once had in these towns. Ultimately, everyone is on their own journey. But if you're in a small town and feel it's too small, look at the people of Luton who look for and find ways to use their smaller community to stick closer together. A sense of togetherness that bigger cities definitely don't have. We've been trying to tell people this side of Luton for years and you've come here with your platform and elevated those voices. And we're amazingly forever grateful that you made our town known for what it actually is and not what it's perceived to be. We can't say that we'll be moving to Luton anytime soon, but we look forward to seeing this community continuing to prove its reputation more and more wrong. So, wherever you are in the galaxy, my friends, from the people of Luton, we salute you.